Sir, tell us why do we need this, Jim? Oh, I, I think it's important for everybody in the United States to understand how important uh, space is to their everyday lives. The way we navigate, uh, if you use GPS, the, the way we communicate. A lot of people are watching this on uh, maybe Direct TV or Dish Network. Maybe some people are watching it online even. Uh, a lot of people receive uh, broadband, internet broadband from space. So the way we navigate, the way we communicate, the way we produce food in this country, um, and by the way, we produce food for the entire world, that uh, oftentimes requires uh, the use of space-based capabilities. Mm -hmm. um, the way we produce energy in this country. Uh, when you think about how we predict weather, how we understand climate, how we do national security and disaster relief, and of course, even banking. You know, a lot of people don't realize every banking transaction in the United States of America requires a timing signal uh, from GPS. So space, and by the way, if we don't have banking, we don't have milk in the grocery store within three days. So this is, this is an existential threat to the United States of America. Now, I will tell you this. As the NASA administrator, mm -hmm. my job is to make sure people understand how important space is to their everyday lives, how it has transformed the human condition for the good. Mm -hmm. um, when you think about what the DOD is doing, is they're saying, yes, it has transformed the human condition for the good. It's important for the United States economy. And really, the next big thing is how do we make sure that it's secure for the future? And I think that's what the vice president was talking about today. Yeah, no, it, it's one of those things that, you know, you, you kind of think, oh, well, the government must be doing this. And then you realize they're not. Um, well, the, and the what is, is, what is the vulnerability this, that we have if we don't take this pretty seriously? And no, I think it, you've laid it out. Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. So the government is doing it. Uh, it's primarily done by the United States Air Force through the Air Force Space Command mm -hmm. and the Space and Missile Systems Center. When, when you think about what a military service is, all a military service does is organize, train, and equip forces for a, a basically a, 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 a theater, if you will, or a domain, air, mm -hmm. land, sea. And now the president is saying correctly that we need a force for space. So, so organize, train, and equip, that's what a military service does. What the vice president laid out today is, is in, in effect, a functional combatant command that can actually take those forces that are organized, trained, and equipped and apply them in, in, a, in a functional combatant command that would be joint. So you take a space force and you combine it with a land force, a sea force, and an air force, and that's the functional combatant command that ultimately is responsible for delivering uh, space-based capabilities to the warfighters. Um, and, and now, it appears, we're going to need defensive capabilities um, at the same time. Okay. I, I will be clear, and I think the audience needs to be aware, there are a lot of threats. When you think about direct ascent anti-satellite missiles, the, pre the vice president mentioned mm -hmm. today, one that was launched in 2007, we as NASA are still dealing with an orbital debris field in low Earth orbit that consists of thousands of pieces of orbital debris from that missile test back in 2007. And that not only threatens our assets in space, it threatens our astronauts on the International yeah. Space Station. So this, this is a real challenge, but now there's co-orbital anti-satellite capabilities. The vice president man mentioned that, not just kinetic, but also yeah. jamming, spoofing, dazzling, which is using laser oh, energy. Here. Hacking. So Talking, there, getting there, into Greek now for me, but uh, okay, so I hear you. I, yeah. Look, I, I think, and, and, and we're just scratching the surface here, I mean, talking about the importance of satellites, et cetera, but, um, you know, th th that's, a, that's a big world out there, <laughs> as you well know, and um, I imagine there's a whole lot of reasons why we really need to be vigilant about this. Jim, it's good to see you. Thank you very much for that perspective.